What's going on guys? This is Big Rome, Barbecue Grill Masters Empire, and uh, today, today is August 24th, and um, I know that there's a big collab right now with Cooking Against Cancer. Um, a lot of people have gone through a lot of either surviving from it or dying from it, unfortunately. It's a horrible disease. Uh, all types of cancers are out there. Um, I actually did a video just yesterday on the 23rd and um, you know I was thinking about cooking against cancer and first thing I thought about was my Uncle Sam. My Uncle Sam died of cancer. Um, fortunately he didn't really tell us anything on his behalf of how he felt body-wise so by the time we actually found out he was already in stage 4 cancer. Uh, you know, memory, many memories when, when I think about my uncle, and I love him so much. Um, I wish he was still here, but you know, things had to happen, and you know, he is in a better place. But uh, this video that I end up doing is I end up doing a picanha. Uh, my uncle was really, he always loved beef, he always loved to eat. Uh, grill out um, and that was one of the things that he, he loved to do is eat eat beef <laughs> so you know when I thought about what I was gonna go ahead and cook I said hey might as well do something that I know he would love uh, and this is why I did it so uh, you know I appreciate CJ uh, dog pound don't trust the skinny chef a lot of people being a part of this collab and this is how I got this information so I appreciate uh, the love support and uh, you know those have those that have lost or have survived you know much love to all of you guys so enjoy the video peace Hey, what's going on? It's Big Rome. Now today, today's a good day. Today, I'm gonna go ahead and do some picanha. Now, I'm gonna smoke it on my Weber kettle grill. And as you can see, I already got the kettle on. I'm ready to go ahead and uh, add the seasoning. And I want you to watch the video. I want you to have fun with it. It's gonna be fun and man, you know what I say all the time, it's gonna be good. So, Big Room, Captain America. Yep, is ready for you. By the way, is this, if this is your first time watching my video, please subscribe on the right side of the YouTube channel and then tap that bell to get the latest updates. Man, you're gonna love the videos. I want y'all to have fun. I'm having fun. And man, I can't, man, I'm ready to enjoy this. Come on, let's get started. Woo! All right. So let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, I got the Angus Picanha here and check it out. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and then from there, I'm gonna add some seasoning. Now the seasoning I'm gonna go ahead and use today is I'm gonna use the Dos Gringos Chupacaras Brisket Magic All-Purpose Seasoning. Man, oh man, I love this seasoning. I definitely wanna try it out on the Picanha. I've never tried it before. And uh, definitely I wanna go ahead and thank uh, you know Sean Hogan to definitely give me the idea of how to make this because I've never done a picanha so guess what I'm ready to go ahead and get this done woo let's go ahead and put that seasoning on All right, so now we got the Weber Kettle Grill on, and let's go ahead and add the fire. Woo! We're gonna go ahead and brush it out here, clean it up. 
Now I'm doing an indirect heat so we can go ahead and get that temperature. Now, I am gonna add a probe into the picanha. So under the picanha itself, what I'm gonna look at, I'm gonna look at putting it at 117 degrees. And then from there, I'm gonna go ahead and sear it on both sides for about a minute and a half on each side. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's go ahead and give it about an hour and see where it's at. Oh yeah. All right guys, let's go ahead and take a look and see how we're doing. Oh yeah. Look at that flavor profile there. It's looking good right there. Wow. Now we got the temp at uh, 88 degrees now. Remember, I'm trying to aim for 117 and then I'm going to sear it one minute and a half on each side and we'll see how it comes out. But man, right now it's looking beautiful. Wow. Man, let's go ahead and shut this down and uh, let's go ahead and give it a, another 30 to 45 minutes and see where we're at. And actually, when I looked at the tent, it's at 116 degrees. We are one degrees away from searing it one minute and a half on each side. Oh yeah, oh, 117, there we go. Uh oh, 116, hold on, 117, let's do this. Let's go ahead and open this up and uh, get that sear going, oh yeah. All right, so what you wanna go ahead and do is open it up. So it, in the vents itself, it's wide open because we're gonna go ahead and sear it right there. But man, look at that picanha. Oh yeah, it's ready to get seared. So let's go ahead and Put it on there and uh, get this going, minute and a half, oh yeah. All right guys, let's go ahead and get that reverse sear happening, oh yeah. One minute and a half, oh yeah. Now we got the other side, oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that sear, baby. Looking good right there. Oh yeah. All right, now we're gonna put it on the aluminum foil. We're gonna go ahead and let it sit for about 30 minutes. And then from there, we're gonna get the temp that we want. And my temp, I think when we went to 117 internal, we're gonna do 130 degrees on this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a look real quick, see where it's at now. Looking at it now, we're about 125. So I think the 130 is gonna definitely work within 30 minutes. So let's go ahead and close this up. All right, guys, now it's go ahead and try this picanha, and I'm so excited. This is the first time I've ever made one. So once again, thank you, Sean Hogan, showing much love to you. Showed me how to do this. I changed it up. I have it at 130 degrees internal. We'll see how it comes out. Let's go ahead and give it a taster. All right, so it's been 30 minutes. And check that out, guys. All right, so let me go ahead and cut it up. And check that ring right there. Oh, wow. Oh yeah, now it's time for me to go ahead and give it a taste. Y'all gotta cut this camera. Please. 
Man, we just cut the camera because <laughs> the juices were coming out of my mouth. <laughs> this is so awesome. This picanha is ridiculous. So all I know is chupacabras, those gringos, brisket magic, got some going. That picanha is delicious. And man, all I gotta say now is uh, big room out.